Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very short episode of CSK News. Not a lot of stories out there, but let's hop right into the first one. And as always, though, today's stories will be timestamped down below, although there's only a couple of stories. So please just watch all the way through. And that's, of course, our big announcement, guys. The Cleveland Cavaliers, otherwise known as 100 Thieves, otherwise known as Nade Shot. I know it's kind of kind of a confusing tongue twister there. We have Nade Shot is the acting director and manager of the 100 Thieves organization, who are now owned by the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the branding done by the Cleveland Cavaliers is now under the team name 100 Thieves. They've actually signed away their LCS spot. The NALCS spot for League of Legends, and they've now officially jumped into Counter Strike Global Offensive, and of course have signed the X Immortals roster. Now we knew about this. This has been hinted at many times in the past. It's really to no surprise, but it's quite awesome to see they finally have been signed by a big organization. Now I actually talked about this a couple weeks ago because we had KNG on his Snapchat story posting things like this. Obviously, you guys get the connection wearing the Cleveland uh, the jersey there, showing that they were in talks with the organization. They've now officially been signed, guys, in the X Immortals roster of Henny, Lucas, and FNX, joined by. KNG, also formerly Immortal, and the former Team One member Bit have now formed together, guys, to actually form the new team known as 100 Thieves. Now, I want you guys to comment down below. What do you think about this? I think it's a huge thing. They've obviously already been boot camping for the major, and yes, they do retain that major spot, so they have a big chance to really prove themselves. And they've already been training away for a total of, I think it's two to three weeks now. They've been boot camping in Poland, and we have very high hopes for this team. Let's not forget how good these guys, Henny, Lucas, and at least KNG, were with Steel and Bolts. They were a top five team. So now what I really think it's up to is how good, what kind of FNX are we going to see? And of course, the up and coming bit uh, from Team One, obviously a lesser known Brazilian team out there. It's really going to be down to how FNX and bit perform and how well all five of these guys really perform together. I have high hopes for them. Congrats to them. And very briefly, I'll show you guys Nade Shot's video about the announcement. Uh, he'd actually, if you all link the full video down below for all of you, he does talk about the instances. And we can't really avoid the issues here. We've had four of these five members all have instances. Of course, Henny and Lucas and KNG involved in the drinking incident. And then KNG on top of that, the, the incident with CLG's FNS. I'm sure you guys are aware of that. And even further than that, people always forget as well what the fallout between FNX and the SK Gaming roster was. No one knows the true story there. So maybe there's some kind of, uh, you know, of course we've known FNX to be some kind of, somewhat of a hothead or maybe a little bit of a tempered guy. We'll see what kind of FNX we do see in the future, guys. And they have been signed. I'm excited to see. But here's what Nade Shot had to say about their new CSGO roster. Unless we were involved in the first person shooter community in one way or another. And so that's why I'm so excited to share with you guys that we have officially signed a Counter-Strike Global Offensive team. We're permanently moving into the CSGO community for the last couple months. We are fully aware of the situations that took place at DreamHack and then the events that took place after, and we do not take the situation lightly in any capacity. I just want you guys to know that we take it very seriously. We truly do. When we were at the drawing board and discussing this team and this lineup internally, I think the one thing that resonated for me the most was the fact that I just don't believe that one action in this entire career that these guys have had should define the rest of their careers. And very briefly as well, I want to thank all of you guys, not only for the comments down below, I really do appreciate replying to those. I have another free day here, so please leave a comment down below what you guys think of today's very, very few stories. But also thanks to all of you guys who use my OP Skins referral link down below. They have their new viral ladder, so you guys can enter, and all you have to do is get 100 points to be entered into their, their grand prize giveaway. It's a couple, or actually a very, I think it's five or $6,000 of, of gifts they're giving away. So all you guys have to do is join down below. And thank you guys, I am now, I believe, a top 100 on their list of over 15,000 people. So thank you guys for for using that code down below, but also we have a story out there about Stannis Law. I now I released a My Thoughts Don't Matter episode about this. Actually, I think it was last week sometime about where Stannis Law will go in the North American scene. Obviously, a very well revered North American IGL until his former past with Liquid, where he was eventually uh, demoted from IGL. They then put Nitro in IGL instead, and of course they kicked him for of course Steel to join that roster and do very well. But I, I want you guys to know we do have a potential leak out there as to where Stannis Law will be going, and it might be a downgrade to a Mountain do league team. Now again, I really can't expect this to be 100% guaranteed because he's a very sought after guy and I really would not expect him to jump down this far, but it does seem as of right now a team known as Team Era who just landed a spot in Mountain Dew League next season, which is also formerly known as ESCA. It'll be season 27 and they have actually landed a spot there next season and he has been partaking and actually playing with that team. I'll show you guys screenshots of the games he's actually played with them and to confirm it was Stanislaw himself. So we'll see if he actually joins this roster guys, what they've been offering him, but I do not expect 
this to be 100% guaranteed because he is probably worth a, a you know a, actually a quite a bit more than this. So we'll see what happens though. But as of right now, Stanislaw is playing for a team in ESCA Mountain Dew League next season if they actually do uh, land him, and it's known as Team Era. And that's gonna do it, guys, for today's episode of Cisco News. Hope you all enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like or more importantly, leave a comment down below. I will see you on a couple days. Some more my thoughts don't matter as well as some more CSK news episodes. And uh, as always, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. And uh, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.